Welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you a movie recommendation video. Yes, you heard me right. I know I've been dropping so many videos left, right, and center. So whenever I get my chance to either unbox a movie, watch the damn thing, I'm going to do so. And of course, every single week, you know it's a guarantee that on a Friday, you're going to get a movie recommendation. Just in case you're wondering what you should be watching or what you can watch on the weekend because I know a lot of people are not still venturing to the movie theaters to watch these new releases because of COVID-19 but I go you know what King's seen so many movies why not recommend a few your way you know so you can check out and some of these are forgotten gems or amazing movies that you just forget about totally you know but anyways that's why you got me and that's why I'm here to recommend the video so you guys can tell, I don't know, by the thumbnail earlier, uh, the movie that I'm recommending for this week is, of course, I don't have the DVD to show you, so I'm not going to show you guys, is Jack Reacher starring Mr. My Buddy, Tom Cruise. Yes, like always, guys, there will be a non-spoiler and then a spoiler. It's not going to be too much. This video won't be probably long, but... It's going to be informative that you guys are going to make a decision. So let's start the non-spoiler, uh, which is pretty much I'll tell you my thoughts without ruining the movie for you. And then I'll get into some spoilery details right after. So anyways, so guys, this movie came out December 21st, 2012. So eight years ago, starring my buddy Tom Cruise. It's about two hours and I want to say five minutes long, something like that. It's directed by Christopher McQuarrie. So if you don't know who that is, the director... He directed a couple of Mission Impossibles for Mr. Tom Cruise. So this is where I think I, they first came in contact with each other and worked with each other and produced this magic. Anyways, here's the cast. Tom Cruise, Rosamond, Rosamond Pike, which I totally forgot she was in here. Richard Jenkins, Werner Herzog. He's the big villain in this movie, and he's also in Star Wars The Mandalorian, so... Trust me, he's been around. He's just, I forgot he was in here either, too. I'll tell you the guys the truth. David Oliello, Jai Courtney, he's the assassin guy in this thing. Vladimir Sizov, Joseph Sikora, Josh Hellman, Alexia, I think, Foster or Fist. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that one. And Robert Duval. Yes, you heard me right. Robert Duval. So that's the cast for this film. The way I can sum this thing up for you guys, basically, Jack Reacher is what they call a ghost uh, in the military. He kind of goes around. He's like the police of the military, does what he has to do, and nobody knows his whereabouts, his real identity, or anything like that. And when there's an issue, they go to this guy, and this guy solves the problems. And he's kind of like basically what I like to call a gypsy. He goes place to place that nobody can track him and all that crap. But anyways... That's what he is. That's the role that Tom Cruise is playing. So, amazing. Special agent, let's just say that, you know. That's what I'm going to leave it at. So, anyways. And then Rosamund Pike plays this lawyer whose father is the district attorney. Who, their relationship has kind of, like, been estranged. Like, they're not getting along each other. She wants to become a lawyer, or she is a lawyer, but she wants to further her career. So, uh, she takes on this role of defending this soldier who apparently gets arrested for murder uh you'll see it in the trailer it's not a spoiler guys uh five people innocent people get killed he gets charged and he basically writes when they ask him do you have anything to, to sign a confession and stuff and he basically writes jack reacher on there and that's where it starts off jack reacher ends up coming miraculously not even a few seconds after this whole ordeal goes down and the two of them work together to solve the mystery of how guilty the soldier is, why did he call him, and who could be behind it. And that's what it is, basically. It's them finding clues, investigating, shit happens. They literally, stuff does happen. It's an evenly paced movie. It's not. I'm not going to tell you that this is like, oh my god, action packed from beginning to end. No, it isn't. It's a lot of thinking. I think the last 30 minutes of the film is where it starts to pick up and the action and the ending to uh, the movie, I think it's a good ending, you know, and it kind of suggests there's a sequel, which there is a sequel, it's Jack Reacher, uh, Never Come Back kind of thing, and it takes the uh, character in another different direction, but good 
good storytelling, good action, good writing, good everything. The actors showed up and did their job. So on that note alone, I highly recommend this film. If you like uh, drama, suspense, thriller, you know, on your feet thinking, and then a little bit of action to kind of like top things off, this is the movie for you. And if you like Tom Cruise, even better. That's why I recommend this film. Okay, put the spoilers now. Okay, guys. I don't even know where to start. Beginning starts off slow. I'm not going to get This guy gets framed. Uh, there's another guy played by Jai Courtney. He actually scopes out five, looks like five innocent bystanders, and he literally pulls the trigger on all of them, takes them out. This other soldier gets blamed for it, and he gets arrested. He basically gets framed, guys. And when they ask him to confess uh, to all these shootings and stuff, he doesn't. He writes Jack Reacher, which is Tom Cruise's character. He comes in, and he knows that if anybody's going to get to the bottom of this and solve that he's been framed, it's going to be Jack Reacher. And believe it or not, he does solve things here and there. And Tom Cruise plays it quiet. There's corrupt police officers. You think they're good guys? You think... Uh, uh, Rosamund Pike's uh, father is a district attorney. You think maybe he's the one who's corrupt that's helping these guys in the background by uh, played by Werner Herzog and stuff like that. Creepy. Jai Courtney is his assassin guy who kind of takes out the trash pre pretty much and is trying to set him up. But holy crap, you find out the cop is the bad one out of this. And the father, I don't even know where the hell he is. I don't know if he disappeared or whatever the crap, but he kind of disappeared on his own so she's working with jack reacher to solve all this stuff that's going down they follow the clues they kind of go back and the more that they dig 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 and the more that uh tom cruise's character does his research and all that crap he slowly discovers that there's no way it could be this guy it's something else that's even more sinister like the five innocent people are not five innocent they're all connected you have the one person who wouldn't give up her i guess i guess property or whatever the hell it was to this guy so they set her up to get killed she might have been having an affair with another person who's tied into the whole situation so they kind of figure that stuff out and tom cruise is slowly figuring out a whole bunch of other stuff there's one cool bar scene that uh these idiots decide to send uh, whoever the hell to go after tom cruise tom cruise goes you sure you want to do this so they step outside and he literally takes out five guys and it's hilarious because he says i'm going to take out the uh, guy who's in charge then I'm going to take on the next two guys who are going to be brave. And there's going to be two guys who are going to usually split and run for their lives. And it exactly goes down like that. It's hilarious. And there was a girl that was involved too. And unfortunately, she bites the big one. They uh, use her to get the Tom Cruise to kind of like go after them and kind of show up to kind of lure them in kind of thing, which is crazy. But uh, yeah, action when you needed to be, mystery when you needed to be, problem solving like crazy. Rosamund Pike brought it. Everybody brought it. And then, of course, Tom Cruise ends up following the trail all the way to, uh, how do you call it? He ends up following the clues, and he has to get some records on uh, the guy who's being framed, right? Because he knows that every Saturday or something, he figured out that if he's traveling that far and filling up in gas, he's going somewhere to perhaps practice shooting. So he goes to the driving range, and that's where he meets Robert Duvall which is crazy. So he kind of like shows his, his goods there, like he can shoot and shit like that. And then that's when Robert Duvall believes that he's trying to help this guy that he kind of like befriended Robert Duvall, the guy who got charged and stuff. So he kind of shows them the tricks here and there. And then they kind of plan that, hey, they got to go do something. You know, he, he reveals some information, which, you know, it's not a big deal. It's just, yeah, you know what? I believe you. Let's see what I can help you with. Meanwhile, the uh, lawyer, the uh, Rosamund Pike's character, talks to her father, and she basically, out of the thing, meeting there, he goes, you need to go and protect the custody. Shit's going to go down if you're telling the truth and you're uncovering this big crime organization that's doing wheeling, dealing on the side and doing illegal shit, killing people just to get land, property, money, whatever they want to do, right? So as she's going in the elevator, she gets picked off by the cops, and that's where you discover that the Cop, uh, Ol Elios, Ol Elios, I can't even pronounce his name. Uh, what's his name? Wait a second, guys. I'll tell you right now. I hate pronouncing his name wrong. Uh, da -da 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 -da. David Oliello. That's his. I can't even pronounce it properly. But anyways, 
the cop, he ends up uh, taking her, kidnapping her. They end up calling Jack Reacher. You better get here. If not, she's going to pay the price. And just that phone conversation between Jai Courtney and Tom Cruise, freaking hilarious. I loved it. Yeah, you're going to do this? Boom. And then the last 10 or 15 minutes when they actually go to the scrapyard or the gravel pit, whatever you want to call it, where the showdown's going down, she's still, he has taken her car to go backwards and to kind of fight basically with a knife and no gun. And then there's one scene that he does take him out with the help of Robert Duvall's character. One by one, they get there, and he discovers he has to go to another little location that's close by because he's not in the office, so he does so. Uh, he gets there, and he meets up with Jai Courtney's char uh, character, Mr. Assassin, Mr. Badass. Uh, and he has the gun pointed right to his head. Instead of taking him out just like that, he wants to exact revenge and take him out slowly because of what he did to the girl because he literally punched her in the head and killed her on the spot, which is pretty damn sad. And that pissed Tom Cruise off, right? Doesn't like anything like that, especially with women violence and shit. Doesn't accept that shit. Doesn't matter if he knows him, don't know him. Can't stand it. Anyways, so they have their one-on-one -on -one scrap, and he basically systematically takes him out. He does so. Gets into the trailer. Before he does, he shoots the cop, saves her, goes to the uh, Mr. Ivan the Terrible, I call him, Mr. No Fingers there, uh, Werner Herzog's character, and, you know, basically says, oh, you're going to send me to prison? Big deal. It's like a vacation for me here. He goes, oh, you think you're going to get off, right? So he basically shoots on the head and kills him. That's it. Done. So he ends up going. He leaves with uh, Robert Duvall's character, and, you know, he says, you'll be fine. Wrap things up. So that's basically what it is. She goes to visit the... Uh, the guy who got framed in the hospital, he kind of explains it the way that Tom Cruise explained that, you know what, if I was going to do all this damage, I will shoot off the highway and stuff because the sun will be in your eyes. You can't exactly do it properly. So you know there was a second shooter, which was uh, Courtney Jai's character, which he took out. So he kind of like, she's kind of smirking that, you know, what? he is innocent and he basically bought himself freedom. And the movie ends with Tom Cruise on the Greyhound bus, I'm assuming it is going and then you see this guy arguing with a woman you can hear in the background and i don't know if he started to verbally abuse her and hit her and as that's going on the soldier goes like he doesn't you don't understand he doesn't care about justice he just wants things to be right and that kind of eludes that hey he got up to take out the bastard who's been beating up on the poor woman on the bus because he doesn't like that and that's how it ends so my overall thoughts it was good. I kind of forgot there was more like, you know, crime solving and thinking here and there. I was remembering maybe more of Jack Reacher 2 with more of the action scenes and the bar and all that crap than this one. But it's perfect. The actors delivered from beginning to end. Uh, direction, the director, Christopher McQuarrie, did an amazing job. Now, just what he did near the end of the movie, you can understand why Tom Cruise decided, you know what, you're coming with me, bud. Maybe do a couple of Mission Impossibles or some other projects together. Excellent. Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise. Like, he was cool. He was badass, in my opinion. You know, if you can imagine what he did in Mission Impossible, but a little bit more cold and calculated. Let's just say that, right? Uh, but all the other characters, Rosamund Pike brought it. She was a very strong lead. Uh, Robert Duvall was kind of funny and serious at the same time. The villain was creepy. And Courtney Jai, he was good. He was the guy that she had to take down. And uh, he took him down, pretty much. So, But those are my overall thoughts on Jack Reacher. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Did you guys check it out? If you did check it out and you later came back here, tell me what you thought. Try not to spoil anything. Tell me, did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you agree with me? Is this one of Tom Cruise's best movies that he's done in the last 10 years besides Mission Impossible? Let me know in the comment section. But I highly recommend you check this film out. So there you go, guys. This is this week's movie review recommendation right here on the movie throne like share and subscribe check out my other content and most importantly stay off the king's throne go watch some movies and tune in every week right here on youtube land to see my beautiful face and the new content coming your way oh.